Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim LLB part 2 today we are going to cover the second story that is Shreddy Wester it is again a very important story according to the examination point of view the story revolves around the central character of the story actually is Conradin who is a 10 years old child Conradin is a protagonist in the short story Shreddy Wester he is an ill 10 years old boy According to the text, the boy would not live five years. That is what the doctor has suggested and the statement was actually made on the suggestion of his cousin, Mrs. D. Rope, who is actually the guardian of Conradin, who is taking care of Conradin. She is a 35 years old uh, single lady. Conradin is both a dynamic and a round character. Paragraph 1 of the story, Stradley Wester makes Conradin seems weak, miserable and lonely. For instance, the text in the paragraph 1 states, Without his imagination, which was wrapped under the spur of loneliness, the statement proves that the poor child was very lonely. Wrapped under the spur of loneliness is to be so utterly lonely that the imagination flourishes. This short story also declares his opinion was endorsed by Mrs. D. Raw, who encountered for nearly everything. The phrase proves to the reader that Conradin's opinion doesn't matter. He was actually too much under the pressure of Mrs. D. Raw. She was going to command on his wishes, on his living, on his everything. Only Mrs. D. Raw does. Conradin is miserable in his life. According to paragraph 1, he would have scummed long ago. Scummed can mean to pass away from an endless or to give into something. In paragraph 3, Conradin find love, joy and faith. For example, a ragged, plunged, hooden hen, which the boy lavishes an affection. Even though he refers to the hooden hen as ragged and plunged, Conradin loves the chicken in his eyes is his companion. The hen helps him keep his spirit up. Paragraph 3 also says, Large polycat ferret was his most treasured possession. Wonderful name. From that moment, grew it into God and a religion. Now, when the story starts, we see Conradin being living with his cousin, Mrs. D. Rope, who is a very, again, a very who has a very bossy nature and who is going to control Conradin by all means. She is actually the guardian of his property, his house, and she is actually trying to get rid of Conradin as we can see in the story that he has taken a written proof from the doctor that Conradin is not going to live more than three years. Though he is not that ill, but he is going to be made ill by the attitude of people, by the miseries people are going to show against him. So, uh, we see in the story that there are no friends of Conradin at all. He is very lonely. Mrs. D. Rob do not allow him to make friends. And what um, later on in the story, he gets a ferret cat, which is a deadly, uh, horrible animal. But he feels happy with that. And a, and a hen with which he actually plays a lot and he feels very comfortable with him. In the story, we see that Mrs. D. Rob is a very religious person and she is going to take Conradin with her to the church. There he observes that people are going to worship a, a statue or whatever they call God and they are going to feel fear from him. So, in actual, when he feels fear from the ferret cat, he suggests that this ferret cat is a God. And he is going to make him a god. He puts him in a cage and used to perform the rituals that he observed in the church. He is going to provide him with some nuts. He is going to provide him with flowers and going to pray from him. And later on, we see that in the same place in the church, Conradin observes that people are going to uh, get um, a person who is very decent and who is very elegant and they are going to get impressed by him and they are going to call him Anabaptist. 
he is the priest of the church and they are going to call him anabaptist so he feels that affiliation from that hen and he is going to call him that the hen is his anabaptist these are actually two animals from which he is going to feel relief in his life he is in their company he actually feel happy and he put them under a shed that is away from mrs d rops approach and that is present in the garden somewhere he used to spend lots of his time over there to feel relieved to feel relaxed and to feel comfortable without mrs d rop get noticed about this thing but later on in the story we see that mrs d rop is going to observe that conradin is spending more and more time in that barren garden she is going to observe that what is present over here and she finds the parrot cat now first of all she is going to find the hen she sells that hen we see conradin very much lost broken and shattered after this incident but he do not shows it to mrs d rop because Uh, from his previous experience he was quite aware that nothing is going to happen and on the mrs d rops and we see that she was a very selfish person she actually sold that hen to see how pain how much pain conradin is going to feel after losing his favorite hen but she was uh, at this point she was unaware that he has an other thing that is a ferret cat and we observe later on that conradin is going to the ferret cat praying in front of him that uh, he is going to call him stradney vestal that was a different and a unique name he has given to his god he is going to call him stradney vestal please do one thing for me he is not going to tell what thing he actually wants he is not going to show his intentions but since he was he had admitted him to be the god so he was of the view that the god is aware of whatever he wants so he keeps on calling him charney wants to do one thing for me lying in his bed getting up early in the morning and praying from that ferret cat do one thing for him now this thing shows here the theme of the, the theme of trust like he was trusting uh, charney wants to be a god and this thing actually happens later on we see that when mrs d rob finds that there is an other thing in that shed which is going to relieve conradin she goes there and conradin starts praying from his god again calling him shadney wants to do one thing for me as long as soon as mrs d rob opens the cage she feels that she is going to face a very deadly incident that is going to take her life eventually she sees that the ferret cat is going to jump on her attacks her and she dies after some time we observe the maid coming out of that shed crying and observing that that uh, what has happened to mrs d rob they are just crying and feeling pity for the little boy well on the other hand we see conrad in very much relaxed taking his tea with the toast and buttering it with more butter okay if we are going to look at the questions that uh, i have actually extracted from the past papers they talks about conradin the central character in the story stradney master is a sensitive child who uses his active imagination to deal with his painful situation discuss second question is in the short story stradney master evil of human nature is clearly defined do you agree the central theme of stradney master is triumph of imagination over reality now if we are going to observe these questions again and again the writer is asking about the imagination that is actually a hidden message or a hidden thing in this short story yes uh, we can see that the active imagination of the child he was actually imagining the first thing is that he was actually imagining uh this ferret cat as the god shadi master and yes it was proved right secondly the hen the anabaptist that was again his imagination the third thing that he actually imagined that the uh, area to be a church and a playing area for him and that was again his his imagination otherwise it was a barren garden and something that is going to make him relief out of that stressed situation the story throughout is full of imagination like the 
we see the boy he is away from the reality and in his imagination all the time whatever he is going to observe in uh, in the reality in the church he is going to make his imagination according to the things that he is observing over there and he is going to whatever he has he is going to imagine all those things and relate them to the reality that he is observing in the people he is going to imagine the attitudes of the people in the things that he has he is going to make that hand anabaptist is again his imagination the area a play area as a church and a play area a barren garden as these two, two things is again his imagination and throughout the story we can see it is full of imagination so whenever you are going to read it you are going to focus on this point very much okay so here we end the story